Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm here for another Caveco Sport review, as you may see because of the size of the box. First, the pen that I'm going to review is a very old edition and obviously it didn't come up in this case design. This cardboard sleeve is much more recent. It usually came inside a rubber box. I showed it before in the video that I made about Kavec boxes, but because the boxes are bought separately by the by the retailers, it may come inside one of these. So don't worry the package about the package, just worry about the pen. And the pen we are seeing today is the Kaveco Art Sport Samba. And here it is. This is a Kavec Sport a pen, so the same size as all the other Kavec Sports, but this is a, an Art Sport. The Art Sport is a, an edition, they are now on the third generation, of pens that are made of acrylic instead of ABS plastic. They are much heavier and they usually have nicer materials. They are made in limited runs, so some of them are very, very hard to find. This is from the Generation 1, and you can check a video that I made about the Kavec Generation 1 art sport. So, if you want, just check it, um, and you'll have an overview. This pen, the finish is called Samba, and it came in the collection with the brothers or sisters or whatever, the blues, the mambo and tango. All of them had music names and that's it. This samba is very different from all the others. I would say you can see some uh, similarities between these two because they have similar kind, not exactly similar, but they both have some swirls in the materials. This one has stripes. This one has some stripes, but in a very different approach because of these other colors. But let's take a look at it uh, right now. This pen has gold trim, which means that the Caveco medallion on the top is made of... Uh, it is gold plated. Then you have the eight facets on the on the on the cap and in one of the facets it is engraved it's not like engraved it's more like embossed and i'm not sure if you can see ah, okay now you see caveco art sport there and it has two of the facets of the cap are different the pen is purple of a solid purple with no color variations, but you have this layer of pink, a very soft pink, and then a greenish, semi-transparent um, material there. And if I show it to you, I think you can see it is transparent, because when I turn the pen inside, you can see the material going through that middle window. So it's very strange. I have never seen a pen like this. This is really a unique design. If you ask me if I like it, I don't really like it that much, but this is one of the Kavec Art Sports that I'm collecting, so I have one. Also, on the barrel, the same kind of design. The barrel is cylindrical and it, then it tapers down just a little bit. It has a, a little step there and you have this end of the of the barrel with a, just a minor stop down that you a step down that you will not be able to see easily then you uncap and you have the same kind of material in these pens usually usually the materials or the patterns don't line up so don't expect to have it lined it just is the same kind of material then, you have the hourglass-shaped section, which is quite 
comfortable to hold. And then you have the threads that are a lot and they are very narrow, so it's not, they will not make your, uh, your fingers hurt. And if I show you the nib, you will see this is a gold-plated nib from uh, an older style that has no breather hole there and the size of the nib is there on the side and this is a medium one so beautiful nib with a different kind of feed than the usual one and I find but it's just my personal opinion that the feeds that have this kind of slit in the middle from the old Cavex Sport collection these are the wetter or the wettest feeds around for uh, the the Caveco pens. Then it takes international short cartridges or the proprietary uh, Caveco converters and that's it. They have a threads, all acrylic on acrylic, except for a little, I cannot show it to you easily, maybe you can see by transparency, on the bottom of the barrel, I think you can see just there, there is a brass piece that gives the pen some weight. I can show it here on the blues edition. You can see that is a brass weight that gives the pen an extra weight on the bottom and it makes it really more comfortable to hold because all the weight is here. So the pen will comfortably lie on your hand. And if you post the pen, it becomes a full-size pen, it is no longer a short pen, and this is really comfortable to hold because of that weight on the bottom, which I find quite interesting and useful. Now, this pen is almost impossible to find. Sometimes you find one on eBay or some store, they are usually quite expensive, uh, sometimes they go for the double of the price of the current edition of the current generation, the third generation of Cave Quartz Sport. But if you are looking for some vintage pens, not vintage, but some rare finishes, that's a part of the of the hobby. So this is what overall I had to show you about this pen. I just want to make also a size comparison, and here you have the Lamy Safari Candy Violet, this is the color of 2020, and the Parker Centennial Du Fold Big Red. So, this is a small pen, but as usually when I show you to you, when we post the Caveco Sport and we uncap the Lamy and we uncap the Parker, do fold, and I consider that both the Lamy and the Parker do fold are not meant to be posted, and Caveco does, so this is, I think this is quite a fair comparison. You can see that the Caveco is just a little bit longer than the other one, so it is a full-size pen when it is posted. Now, let's cap this, and let's just go for a color comparison before we go to the writing sample. And because this is mostly a purple pen, let me show you the other purple plastic Cavex sports I have. Let's, let's not talk about metal pens, just plastic pens. And I have this one. This is uh, a prototype made by Caveco with the metallic uh, violet or purple cap. This was not released to the market, it was just some, a test, and there you can see it. The, the barrel is metallic uh, silver plastic, but the cap is, silver, is metallic violet. It is so shiny that it is quite hard to show it here without major reflection. No, not better. I think I will turn this light off and let's see if it's better like this. So it is a metallic cap 
a metallic color cap. I have here the Caveco Art Sport Generation 2. This is the Amethyst, also a very hard to find color. That is also purple. And then we can still go for a couple more pens. We have the Class, not the classic, this is a Skyline Sport purple and the Caveco Skyline Sport, Sport metallic violet. So we have, I, I, I'm not sure how to call these colors, I'm not good at, with colors, but I would say that maybe these fit together better. This color is more like that one. And there is also violet. The Cave Quart Sport from the third generation, but I don't think it can be found in any stores no more, and I didn't have the chance to buy it, so I think I will not be able to get that one. But we have here, and what is strange here? Do you find anything strange? I find something strange, not. Mm, not uh, anything about these pens, but about what is missing here. We see that there was, we will not count the prototype, and let's not count these two, because these are special or exclusive editions for the, English, for the American market, as far as I know. About the regular editions, although they are kind of special, but they are not uh, exclusive or anything like that. We have two art sports and we have the art sport generation three violet pens. So we have three violet pens on the Caveco Sport range. But when you think about it, on the regular lines, there was no violet pen on the Caveco Classic Sport, on the Caveco Skyline Sport, on the eye sport and not even in this new collection, the frosted sport. I find this quite strange because as far as I've seen, and I and I see that a lot in the group, in the discussion group we have on Facebook, the Caveco Collectors and Users group, we I see lots of people looking around for purple or violet pens, and Caveco doesn't make them. At least three of regular art sport edition on the higher end and two special editions but I think there was room for a purple pen in every regular line of Caveco but this is just my idea and Caveco if you are listening to, to this please remember that the users would love a pen like this so I think this is enough about all the all my thoughts about it. Let's just see how this pen will write. And here I am now with the pen and paper. I zoomed in and I also turned the light on again. Turned the light on again. I think it's easier for the writing sample. And let's see the pen writing. Okay, and here we have the Caveco Art Sport Samba from Generation 1 with a medium steel nib. Be, um, pay some attention because you have some pens that you can find more expensive on the market, sometimes of these kind of finishes, but be aware because on the art sport series of the first generation they could come from the factory with a fa with a steel or a gold nib sometimes you have a more expensive one because it comes with a gold nib so pay some attention to that sometimes it's worth it so caveco art sport samba the paper that we are using is the rodia dot pad and the pen very comfortable, as I showed you, is the, uh, the pen I, I told you, sorry, the ink is the Divine Design Pink. 
that bright pink cartridge that you saw inside. This is a very colorful and bright pink. And you will see that this pen writes really well. You just have a little bit of feedback, but not much. It skipped there, maybe because I was too fast writing, or maybe I lift the pen off the paper. This is a pen that writes really well, and as I told many times online to many viewers, so far I didn't have any problem with any Caveco Sport, and I have lots of them. So, I say that these kind of nibs, this kind of feed is the, are the most wet ones, although I don't think this pen is particularly wet, but it is wet enough for the writing and it is very comfortable. You have just a little hint of feedback, but really you don't have much. It's comfortable to write with, it's pleasant, it's not scratchy. About the reverse writing, you can do it, it is just a little scratchy, it's not pleasant, but it delivers a really good amount of ink. It writes really well, but not pleasantly. But if you need just a thinner line, you can have it. About the line variation, you can try to press it, but you will end up ruining your nib. So, if you just want a line variation, go for a special pen that will do that, a flex pen. So, this is all I had to show you about this pen. I talked a lot about Caveco pens on my channel before. This is just another review of a very specific and interesting and not that beautiful finish with the purple, pink and transparent greenish. Quite unusual. These are quite rare to find. All the pens from generation when Art Sport Generation 1 are very hard to find. This one is one of the hardest. I will say that all of the Generation 1 are very hard to find. So if you are interested in one, just get it. Don't wait too much if you see one around. And be aware because they can go really high on prices. So this is all I had to show you today. So thank you so much for watching. It skipped there a little bit again. I think it was me again. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I, this is another video of this my quarantine or stay at home videos during the COVID-19 pandemic. I hope you this is useful. I hope this helps you to Stay home if that is what your health authorities say you say that you should do. And please follow their instructions because the health authorities are the ones that know better what we should do at our own country. So stay safe. I hope you enjoyed and see you soon for another video. Bye.